De-escalation tactic number one is to do nothing. Because if you realize that things will always change, doing nothing may be the right approach. Just wait and see what happens. And uh, let me give you an example. I have been asked over uh, several years, decades, to do proposals for clients to help them resolve issues that they're facing. And sometimes I rush and uh, I submit a proposal and I might win the work. But what I realize is sometimes when I rush, I don't do as good a proposal or outline as I would do if I took more time. So for example, I did one recently and sent it in with a week's notice as promised. And then I realized that it would not be reviewed for at least five weeks because the board of directors gets together only uh, every few months. And if I had have taken more time, I probably would have had a more thoughtful submission. I don't think it'll have an impact on the outcome, but in terms of the conflict that they want to resolve, they have chosen to take time and I too could have chosen to take time, not to do nothing, but to take more time before responding. So it's, uh, it's an important option that you should consider. This is what we call de-escalation tactic number one. Stay tuned for other tactics, which we hope you'll find also equally useful.